Right, one of my favourite mosses is Fissilans. Uh, there's lots of different species of Fissilans. Um, I can't remember what species this is, so uh, we just have to ignore that bit. But it's very hardy, or at least I find it very hardy. You can just pretty much dump it into any tank and it'll just uh, slowly grow and take over. Uh, I'm just trying to find the best way to not get reflection. Um, I found it would grow on pretty much anything. I've got some attached to um, oops. attached to the uh, foam in there. It's just hooked on, and now it's just slowly growing out. At the back there, you've got it growing on mesh to make a moss wall. Um, down here, it was attached to more uh, mesh. There you go, you just about see some in there. But that has uh, slowly taken over the whole tank. Basically, how it starts. <coughs> um, so I attach it into some me me mesh. And it slowly grows out and takes over, fills out the mesh. And then goes, uh, and in the end we end up with something like that. You can also have it loose, like this. Let's bring the light over the top a bit more. There you go, that's a nice example of it. Um, it's a very light moss. Um, in the water it looks quite dense, but as soon as I take that out, it seems to lose all of its rigidity. There you go. So yeah, there you go. It's a nice billowy piece. As soon as you take it out, it just goes into a thick clump like that. There we go. Lovely shades of green in that. Now you have to be careful not giving it too much light because it can be. Um, <coughs> sorry. As you can get hair algae attached to it because it's a sort of medium to slow grower, then the hair algae can take over it. There we go. Uh, there's a uh, close up of the actual arm of a Fissidens moss. See the almost like um, underwater pine, pine needles. Uh, but very, very tiny. Um, yeah, there's a tiny little hole that goes next to it. It's a beautiful and delicate moss, all in the same way. Um, I just like how striking the greens are. And obviously, with all mosses, it's going to give you plenty of biofilm. So, yeah, it will pretty much attach to anything. You've got a tiny bit there coming out of the substrate. And over here, you'll see that it's actually attached to. Um, the Echidama, and it's just growing from that. You can make a uh, sort of moss carpet with it, you just need to keep uh, an eye on it. Obviously, with it being a medium to slow grower, it's not going to go too mad. And uh, there we go, that gives you a rough idea of what it might look like once it's all uh, grown out. There's other mosses in here as well, which I need to tidy up a bit. But yeah, Fistons Moss, beautiful, slow, medium to slow grower, easy to keep, and I'd recommend it in your shrimp tank.